How are you doing, captains of creation? I just made that up. How do you like that? Captains of creation. I, um, man, I've got something that is just pressing on my brain right now. Maybe it's the fact that I need a haircut so desperately. But I, so I've been, I've been thinking about this one for a while, and I'm gonna hit you up with a question. Have you ever pondered, have you pondered recently what it was that you wanted to be when you were all grown up? Like, if you went back to that moment, there's a moment, there's a moment in your early life. I don't know if it was when you were eight or when you were 12 or when you were 17 or 22 or maybe even 28, but somewhere along the way, some of you are not even 28 yet, but somewhere along the way, you identified and connected with what I would call a tug on your soul string. Something that you said, I got it, this is what I wanna do. I don't know if it was in athletics or creativity or the sciences or law or politics or whatever, but there was something that kind of pulled on you and you identified with it. And then, if you're like me, you drifted. You drifted and, um, and you got to this point where maybe you're 35, 40, 45 years old or something like that. And you're going, how the heck did this happen? And typically it is a result of some external condition that pulled you off course. And in some cases it might've been an oblique turn that just dragged you off course. Some major life event just dragged you off course or you're, you, there was just a slight navigation off. Your, your axis just turned a little bit and you slightly went off. Either way, you're not where you thought you would be at this point. Uh, I, 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 was, I was reminiscing about a conversation that I had with a buddy of mine who when he turned 40, he was in a complete funk about this and we talked about it. And I said to him, I said, listen, you're acting as if the last 40 years of your life have been lost or that you're going to have to redo or relive the last 40 years in the next 40. And that you're, you're looking at yourself at 40 years old and you're thinking that you're starting from zero, that you're starting from zero. And I said to him, it's just completely not true. Because if you think about the first 10 years of your life, you, you're not unlearning what you learned in the first 10 years of your life. Like you learned how to operate this, right? You learned how to operate this and, um, and that's pretty much what the first 10 years of your life. And then you've got the next 10 years of your life, 10 to 20. And what were you doing? You were developing relationships. You were learning what love felt like. You were learning what heartbreak felt like. You, you identified with a group of people with like interests, right? And you connected with those people and you pursued that. You, you, you created education for yourself. You went from general education to a more specific education. And, um, and, and, and you can't, nobody's gonna take those away from you those years. Those years are banked. Those years are banked. And so maybe the next 10 or 15 years started to, you started to drift away from what your original intention was. But what I'm gonna tell you is that you don't have to redo the first 20. You don't even have to do the, the, the first 30. The truth of the matter is whatever it is that you wanna become, whatever it was that you wanted to become, you may not be able to do it exactly the way you wanted, but you could still pursue it and scratch the itch in a, in a different way. So as an example, for me, I wanted to be a rock star way back when. I wanted to be in the music business. I wanted to write songs, I wanted to sing, I wanted to act, I wanted to be on stage, right? Okay, so here I am now, I'm 58 years old. Is that a reality for me? I don't know, maybe it could be, but I have a different consideration for it now. I still have a consideration for wanting to be creative and wanting to be um, public with my creativity. It may not be through singing and songwriting, but it certainly is a song. What, what I, I see what I'm doing as a song of my life, 
I see myself being creative, and so I'm, I'm pursuing that. I am absolutely pursuing that. It may not look like exactly what I thought it was gonna look like when I was eight, but it's, it's, it's pretty darn fulfilling. I think it might be time to see if you can make the necessary adjustments. Again, tap into the bank account of your life. Tap into the bank account of your life. Everything you've learned, all your resources and your reference points, they're still there. They haven't disappeared. They didn't play out to what you were hoping, but they're still there. Don't buy into that broken belief system that somehow life has passed you by, that somehow your desired intentions from, from years gone by are, are no longer in play. Don't buy into that broken belief because I'm going to tell you, the only way time becomes a constraint is when you run out of it. So I want to leave you with this. It's time you participated in creation. It's time you read the book of your own story and identified with those very things and embrace those very things and connect with those very things that bring this amazing joy and peace and fulfillment and happiness because that's what your soul is longing for. I'm Arnie Cap, and you were created from scratch.